What's up guys? Today we are watching Daredevil episode 3. So, last episode, basically Matt and the other lady, kind of already forgot her name, they captured one of the dudes that knew where the little boy was and they got out the information that they needed to know where dude was and, you know, saved him by the end of the episode. But we also saw how Matt's dad died and I was kind of surprised to see that kind of early on. But you know what? It's okay. It was sad as fuck, but it is what it is. And Foggy and Karen were basically drunk as fuck the whole episode, having the time of their lives, doing great, had a little therapy session. I love their friendship. But since at the end of the episode, they saved the little boy, kind of didn't live, leave a cliffhanger for anything, so I don't really know what to expect this episode. So I guess let's just get into it. Are you still playing? Mr. Prosca bowls when he wants to. Worked it out with the owner. Can I join him for a few bowls? You want to ask? Knock yourself out. Be right back. Watch the dude say no. You mind? No, hey, sorry. I was just really looking forward to throwing a few balls. Get this moron out of my face. What's with dude being so rude? Whoa, whoa, hey. And that's why you be nice to people. I did not need to see that. You're gonna leave the weapon you used at the crime scene, but hidden. I want a lawyer. Of course you want a lawyer, bro. You're Jack Murdoch's kid, aren't you? It's all right, seal of confession. How do you automatically know that that is his kid? Seemed you had a lot on your mind last time you were here. You don't want that latte? Take care of yourself, Father. Kings in the castle. Kings don't have bodies in the trunk. Tell that to Macbeth. <laughs> what? Why, who'd he kill? New player, maybe? Used to be if you killed a man, you sent his wife flowers. Now they just send his wife with him. Who are they even talking about? Because at first I kind of thought they were talking about Matt, but now I don't think so. Name. Anything. Take a pass on this one, Benny. Some fights will just get you bloody. At least he's looking out for you in a way. You know the whole let's stay out all night thing? Yeah. He's rocking a hangover. <laughs> Just one little sign, what could it cost? But you can barely afford to pay me. I thought you were working for free. I, I did, for a day. For a day? How is that like? You know, she's not really free. Hey. <laughs> Like dogs? Who doesn't like dogs? I, I love dogs. Everybody loves dogs. Was that a knock? Yes, in fact it was. New client. Dude from earlier. Right? Or that was 36 hours earlier, so... You've done your homework. My employer expects no less. 
Then forgive me for being blunt. But, uh, um, blunt is a strong word. In my line of work, I find it refreshing. Foggy is the only one getting along with this man and trying to hold back Matt. Oh, decent man. Good lawyers. And for that, for nothing more than your exceptional skills and your discretion. Is that the truth, though? Because sometimes when they say that, they don't actually mean that, and they want you to lie about something. It's, it's fair. That's, that's fair. Your partner doesn't seem convinced. Like Foggy said, we're particular about our clientele. He just probably has a feeling about this dude. All end up working for you after you get them off for murder, or just the pretty ones? We don't bring that up. Excellent. You have 38 minutes to get to precinct 15. What? Now? So quick. It is gonna be the other dude, right? Or maybe I'm tripping. What is your problem? You wouldn't even give us his name, Foggy. You wouldn't care if you could see the zeros on this check. Yeah, maybe you would if you couldn't. We're running out of time. I'll meet you there. Meet? Yeah, why wouldn't dude say his name? Like, what's the big deal? It's been taken it's been care, care of, sir. So who is that? And Matt was right. So, Foggy can't say anything, but I still just want to know who the dude is. Was it the dude from earlier? In your own words. All I wanted was to throw a few balls. The lady at the shoe counter will tell you the same. So it was, dude. They threatened you how? Verbally, physically? Which sounds better? Excuse me? You don't want to, you don't want to take on this dude. Because he is just lying straight up. You have quite the legal vocabulary, Mr. Healy. Am I right in assuming this isn't your first rodeo? I had issues. A lot of people got issues, bro. On second thought, Mr. Healy, uh, perhaps our firm isn't the right fit for you. Sorry I'm late. <clears throat> Tell him, Foggy. Nope. Uh, we have a full caseload right now, so we'd be happy to represent you, Mr. Healy. What? Vera, taking the case. And then he is all of a sudden on board. All of Hell's Kitchen. There's a new player on the scene. No one knows who it is or what they want. Everybody's scrambling. Your assignment's the city. Okay, maybe they were talking about Matt. We could be the ones to connect the dots. It doesn't sell papers, Ben. Not anymore. What if he just, what if he just does it anyway, you know? And then once he does it himself, they're gonna be like, well, maybe you were right. I what we are. Writing for blogs, working from home in their underwear. We're hanging on by our fingertips, Ben. It is crazy how people can make so much money just from sitting at home. Oh, and um, I'll put in a call to the insurance you own. See what I can do, okay? Oh, it's nice of the dude. You at all afraid of what might happen if we lose this case, Mr. Healy? No. Are you? This dude is way too cocky about, like, winning. And it's like, since Matt knew something about Karen's flash drive thing, he's bound to know something about a weapon being hid somewhere. Excuse me? I want the 180-80 date. If I'm indicted, which we know I will be, we'll waive all hearings and discovery and go directly to trial. He's doing too much in his position right now. Wait your turn, man.
He's there to get dude's gun. So then there's not gonna be a gun to find, so I take back what I said earlier. Yeah, I know. And we have to be on the same team, making decisions together. I got carried away. I'm, I'm sorry, Foggy. It's okay. At least he's apologizing, you know? We should cash a check, have Karen see what she can find out about Confederated Globe. Right. Where the hell is she? Is she trying to get like a new job somewhere else? To never again disclose information regarding your former employer, the dissolved entity known as Union Allied Construction, or any of its affiliates. Oh, okay. Clients would like to offer you a lump sum of six months salary. For what? For all your help in the matter. And for any stress these events may have caused. You're gonna give her money. They do feel it's their non-binding moral obligation to offer you a chance at rebuilding your life. That's sketchy. So she has to keep her mouth shut. To run. If I stop to fill out every appeal, I'm going to. are going to cut her off, Shirley. It's not her fault. Come with me. Who is he doing that for? Hey, she had a good day. Yeah. She was up half an hour. Asked about you. So I'm guessing it's his wife and shit. Got the insights. It's still loading. We need better Wi-Fi. We need better everything. Let's do that. Let's win cases. Be popular. Hell yeah. You bang on the router, will you? Oh, hey, no more long launches until this is over, okay? You got it. So she's not going to mention anything about the disclosure she just had to do. At the end of this case, the only verdict that you can render will be not guilty. He's kind of convincing. So uh, hopefully they win. Listening to both things at once. Go home. Get some rest. Got a big day tomorrow. She's doing something against her will, I'm assuming. Um. God damn, he barely, he didn't even get to light his cigarette. Uh, it's a tape, okay? What's on it? Uh, the mistake she made when she was 19 and pretty. Uh, something she don't want her kids to know about. Oh, so they were like blackmailing her to keep quiet about stuff. I want a name. There isn't one. That isn't how this works. Look. Just like the other dude. Would the defense care to make a closing argument? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Why are you taking so long? It is weird that you're just standing there. These questions of good and evil, as important as they are, have no place in a court of law. Only the facts matter. In this courtroom, the judgment is yours. And yours alone. 
How is that man so convincing? Like, the way one lady was looking at him was as if she was like, amazed. <laughs> Needs attention. He's indisposed. With what? Art. Art. Isn't that the dude from earlier who was meeting with the newspaper dude? It's not their experience that matters. They just open shop and they're completely clean. I say that about any of the other hundred you know? I guess he's got a point. This is for me. Nothing ever happened between me and Daniel. Do you think I don't know that? I know how much Danny loved me. Whatever it is you're after, Miss Page, I can't help you. Maybe she knows something and is gonna help her? To never talk about what happened. I offer you something like that? Maybe that's why she's moving. She has the money to. You feel right. At work. With the numbers. And I told him that whatever it was, he had a responsibility to do something about it. And now she's trying to do something about it, so... They have to pay for what they've done. They won't listen. We'll make them listen. I already signed. Uh, about Union Allied construction? I, um... I think there's more to the story. So she's gonna help him out? Hell yeah. Wait, so dude pled not guilty? Cause I thought he would have been like sitting in jail or something. Unless they didn't arrest him because it's a case. You were like that close, bro. Um I want a name! Wilson Fisk! So he finally got a name. Them. So that no one ever does what I just did. At least now he knows a name, so you can't go back now. You coward. Okay. So they shouldn't have taken his case. He's dead. All that matters is... How does it make you feel? Isn't that the dude that was in Hawkeye? See, yeah, what's it called? As soon as I saw dude's face, he looked so familiar. And I'm pretty sure that is the dude that was in the Hawkeye show. Yeah, because he was the one with, what's her name, Echo, something like that. I haven't watched that show in a bit, but like, it's weird seeing him so like, ahead, even though like, that show is still somewhat kind of new. It came out, what, maybe two years ago? I can't remember, but it was a good show. But, yeah. I didn't expect him to be like the villain in the first season, so I guess he's just gonna keep bringing on a lot of trouble within like this show, probably other Marvel shows that I haven't seen, but yeah, it is freaking weird. But 
something I did not expect was for the dude that they were like defending. I didn't expect him to freaking die this episode. I thought that they were gonna just plead him not guilty. He was gonna get to go off and do whatever. But no, he gave up dude's name and bam, killed himself because he was that scared. Dude didn't seem that scary, but I guess I have to give it more time to like develop his character. But yeah, it was such a brutal death too. Man stabbed himself in the arm with a thing that he almost killed Matt on or like cut him with. We wouldn't have known what would have happened. But again, I still think that they shouldn't have taken his case. Well, you see, I say that, but I only said that because <laughs> the dude is now dead. So it's like, what happens when the dude dies? Do they still get paid? Or I'm guessing, like I said earlier, I didn't know if he was out or not. They didn't say if he was guilty or not guilty. So I was kind of just assuming that he pled not guilty or something. But I could be wrong. It didn't show. But yeah. I was still like dabbling with like if I thought they should take the case or not and it was so weird how at first Foggy was for taking the case and then he switched up and then at first Matt didn't want to take the case but then he did. It's weird how they switch up on each other but I mean they still find a way to make it work. And I didn't expect that they were gonna go freaking to the lady, what's it called? With Karen's thing, I didn't expect them to go and like ask her to keep quiet and give her money. And maybe I guess I could say I didn't think she would take the money, but she did because again, she has kids and you know, I get that. But I still feel bad for Karen because it's like, what is she supposed to do now? She doesn't have anything to do since like she has no one really on her side that can help her with shit. But I guess that just means she's going to end up taking the money too. Because again, what else could she do? There's really nothing. But, yeah. With how this episode ended, I'm guessing maybe by next episode, dude's gonna come in and, like, they're gonna meet or something and he's not gonna know who it is. I don't know how they're gonna get introduced to each other. I'm just trying to guess. But, I guess we'll see. So, I guess, come back for episode four. 